that the general manager of the Buffalo Bills was giving um, yesterday, and his name is Doug is it Doug Whaley. I believe that's well, how. What did you think of this? Uh, so I, they were asked about um, Sammy Watkins and how he's injury prone, and Whaley said uh, it's not Watkins. It's the fact that it's a violent game that I personally don't think humans are supposed to play. Now, if he believed that, I, he, I think he said something off the cuff, maybe got into an area where he's talking about one of his star players who some say is injury prone, although in the interview he points out he's only missed three games yeah, in, in yeah. two seasons. I, I just feel like he went there, uh, and not as a crutch, but but I don't know if he really thinks that. Why is he a GM of a professional football team? I, I'm going to tell you. I I think you're going down the right road, and uh, you're having a tough time expressing what you're thinking. Right. Maybe I'm wrong. No, you're here's right. what I'm thinking. You're trying to say is that he just made a statement. Of, I think he was just trying to be uh, kind of being clever. Yeah. And by saying, listen, this is a game that humans aren't made to play. I right. Mean, look at what these guys do. Of course, they're going to get injured. But it was taken taken out of context. It's saying that humans shouldn't play this game. Correct. That is not what he's he's saying. That this is these are these are we're asking for these guys to do uh, almost superhuman things Absolutely. every week. And I think that's what he was saying. Is that what you're yeah, trying to say? Absolutely. Yeah. And again, I just don't think you could be a football general manager right. and believe that. Right. Why would you pursue that career if you thought? You know, so and you know how in the media things get taken out of context. Um, that's exactly what they did. Uh, so Doug Whaley. So the the takeaway here is Doug Whaley doesn't believe humans should play football. So apparently he's on a move. He's on a mission now to eradicate the uh, the the game from the face of the earth and eliminate his uh, and his position. His as position, well, yeah, which is quite uh, a highly paid position. So yeah, I think you're right. I think it was. I you saw know. that everywhere. I mean, people were talking about oh, that. Oh, everybody everywhere. ran with it. You know, because you're looking for you're looking for something. Which and by the way, as a is, as a talk show host or whatever. In in today's game where you you hear so many stories. I mean, for the first time that I can ever remember, there have actually been a couple of different players who have said because I don't want to risk a brain injury, I'm retiring. There was a kid who played linebacker for San Francisco, I can't think of his name. It was like his second year. The kid was 24 years old. Just said, listen, what we're finding out here, I'm I'm not uh I'm just not gonna do this anymore. And he retired at like the age of twenty four. So I think what he said is a bad thing to say uh in today's day and age because everyone's well, this is why I, I hate to say this, but when you see a when you see a comment from a political figure and it's vague and it's political talk, it's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Um, because well, they're just you know the talking points. This is why I think you have people that uh, that are trained politicians, everybody but Trump, that are trained <laughs> to say nothing. They yeah. have to watch that statement so carefully because you, the media, someone or their opponent will take that statement and just manipulate it. So you try. I, I imagine there's a group that just sits around and what are you going to say today? And, okay, don't say it this way. How about if we phrase it this way? Phrase right. it this way because you can't twist it around if you say it this way. I, 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 Global warming is an example. Right. Man, it, now it's climate change. It, and, you got to change the terminology in hopes that people won't take it out of – and that's what the world has become. We're so worried about uh, what we can and can't say. It's, um, it washes everything down. And now here is a perfect example. The guy makes a little remark, and all of a sudden the game's over. Uh, Twitter today, big news – I believe it starts today. Do we know anything about this, Andrew? Uh, Twitter has changed their rules. If you are in, uh, if you follow Twitter, if you're on Twitter, um, the 140 character limit remains in existence. Yeah, it still is. But the 140 character limit on tweets has been changed. So wait, I'm confused. Well, I was too. So if I'm correct, and I, I, I wish Christine was here because she knows this. Ryan, do you know anything? No. What I what I think it, it's saying is in terms of characters, text, when writing text, you still can only write 140 characters. But if you recall, if you put a photo in, it takes up characters. If you put in a, a link, it takes up characters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what will happen is, uh, if I'm correct, maybe somebody can call in and tell me I'm, I'm wrong and tell us the way it is supposed to be. But I think you could type a, you could type 140 characters 
and add a photo and a link now. I don't. It, it hasn't gone into effect yet because I've been tweeting all morning with our listen live uh, link. Yeah, and it um, it still it goes over. Well, but I wonder. They made if- the decision that they're they're going to be making the change. The changes will make them um, a blog post. The company announced on Tuesday it's making the changes. I think it goes into effect at some point today. Oh, okay. I could be wrong. Uh, Ryan is our uh, intern. Ryan, good morning. Which mic are you on? You're on Christine's. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I wanted you to talk about the game yesterday. Um, it was, uh, you know, there's no bigger game in the area than a new Hartford Whitesboro anything. Yeah. And uh, so this was really big yesterday. You guys fell out to a five nothing deficit. Yeah. You were trailing five zip, and it looked like your playoff hopes, uh, continuing in the playoffs, were all gone. Yeah. Yeah. At, at one point. And then what happened? Then we just, uh, in the fifth and sixth inning, we just got hot and we came alive and we ended up winning 15 to 5. Our bats yeah. came alive. Scored what? 12 runs? 13 runs? And. Uh, we scored 13 runs. Well, we scored 10 runs in the sixth inning. 10 runs in the sixth inning. Yeah. Taking a 10 to 5 lead. And then, um, and then you ended up winning the game 15 5. Yeah, that was really big. All right, uh, any highlights? Any big highlights? You want to be? You're the you're you're the sports guy. Uh, the big highlights. Uh, Cooper Deck and Kyle Cronin had a great game. Mm-hmm. Right. Kyle Cronin actually, the kid, got his hand stepped on in practice the day before, had to get stitches, and he ended up getting two hits. And, wow! Uh, actually, he showed me the picture. Cooper wow. Deck. Cooper Deck is also a former uh, part-time intern for us. He wasn't around for long, but he he was in a few times All as right. well. All right. Is he the one I stepped on his hand? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, he wasn't he wasn't paying attention. So, uh, okay, here's the big challenge. Now, I understand the rivalry between New Hartford and Whitesboro, but say some good things about I mean, you, how'd you guys make out when you played during the regular season with Whitesboro? We lost uh, both times. Isn't that interesting mm-hmm. how this stuff works? That's the playoffs, folks. So do you, think, do you think that at, at one point they had the early lead, they thought, okay, we've beat them twice before, we've got this, it's no problem. You think that had a lot to do with? Uh, yeah, I, I the think were, so. Listen, they were up five nothing. Yeah. Um, uh, this just shows you this game of baseball is such a game of momentum. Mm-hmm. You can just watch it turn so quickly, and sometimes it turns, and it just keeps turning, and that's really what. Uh, and the wheels come off, and that's really what happened yesterday. It seems with Whitesboro, but yeah. great team. Obviously, they beat you twice during the regular season. Yeah. And, you know, it shows you how things uh, – that's why – who was the person recently? I was just watching somebody that said uh, that uh, there should be no playoffs in Major League Baseball, that there should be, be – uh, and no leagues and no divisions. You should take all the teams. How many teams are in Major League Baseball today? Uh, 30. 30 teams. 30. So it would be 1 through 30. And at the end of the season, the team who won wins the most games wins the, uh, wins the championship. Which is the way it used to be. That sucks a lot of us excitement out of – yeah, the playoff because you could. I mean, you could really in let's say early August, you could have I'll say the Yankees have a twenty game lead, and it's just you or know. worse yet, by June you could be completely out of it. Right. I mean, at least you give yourself to the All Star break, and there. But but there, the number of teams that would be out of it, out of any chance, uh, would yeah. be huge. Yeah, I don't think that's so. The way this to go. gives and then the wild card and all of that stuff. I just think it's crazy to even think to think about changing that. And oh, by the way. The millions and millions and millions of dollars that are uh, that are made off playoffs yeah. and World Series. I mean, I, you'll you'll never see that go anywhere. Quick break. We'll come back and uh, wrap up the morning. Hold tight. It's first news. Keeler in the morning on WIBX.